Okay, we actually have one more in this section. So, Professor Su, as we call him, uh, Su Yunshen from Tonji University. He's an old friend. Uh, actually, yeah, I think it was back in 2014. Was that, is that the date? We did a workshop in Tonji, in Shanghai, focused on uh, the Fuxing Island. Uh, we, I, I brought a whole bunch of people from MIT to Shanghai. Big group from Alto University came from Helsinki. We had a big group of Chinese students at Tonji, and we threw them all together for one week and uh, just watched the magic happen. It was a lot of fun. It was probably, it planted the, the first seeds of this desire to create a network of collaborators. So, uh, Sue has a PhD in urban planning. He was the innovation director of the 2010 Shanghai Expo. I'm sure you heard about that. That was a very big deal. And he's planned uh, a lot of city centers in China. He's now working on a big project in, in Nanjing. And uh, he's going to tell us about some of the, the work. And I hopefully talk a little bit about uh, City Scope Tonji that we have. Yes. Professor Su. Okay. Uh, nice to uh, speak here to uh, introduce our work in China. Maybe uh, you know that China is still growing, you know. So uh, we are not uh, only uh, doing data analysis, but also we try to, uh, from the data, how to change physical cities. So we have these kinds of a diagram to show uh, uh, we understanding like uh, from very small species to the big universe. They are in the same like uh, 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 role uh, running that because uh, the energy less and then the more and more information input into the city space. Um, so uh, uh, also uh, MIT, we know like uh, from, from upper we have virtual uh, uh, world and then uh, uh, under it was physical world. We have six S to try to summarize what we are all envision will be. It's a smart security, which is digital part and the safety uh, sustainable. In between would be service economy and uh, uh, share economy across all the scale. And in the same time, uh, we know that we are in a transition of the energy that we, uh, in Europe, we have so many very exciting uh, deadlines be set up, like uh, whatever, 2040, um, no fossil uh, car in uh, German uh, be sold, something like that. And uh, so we, we hope like we can create a new generation of city we call university. Uh, that's uh, uh, really a combined university with the city. We join these two things, knowledge and then the physical together to create a new type of uh, um, uh, city uh, prototype. Uh, just like most law working in uh, uh, mobile phone, car, uh, housing, but also most law also working in cities. That city is going to be shrinking just like a computer CPU from big, like a um, really stupid big machine back into very smart like a unit and then uh, concentrate around the uh, uh, subway station or like a public transportation. So city become more slim and more efficient, more diversity, more energy saving. So we put this uh, diagram into our Nanjing project to make a uh, uh, very uh, uh, promising like uh, uh, in the center, super high density center with uh, these three uh, uh, landmark, culture landmark, uh, technology landmark, and then a in super incubator in the center. And then uh, there are three uh, uh, very line up uh, city, like we call like a future, culture and nature, three like uh, uh, area, we try to uh, integrate all our uh, innovation into these three zones. But uh, uh, we can see actually this is three valley, three valley. So uh, we are going to fully use those kinds of water and the nature resource and then uh, so that we can really uh, make a city production and then the bus, uh, no, no private car in this area. You know, we try to make a future city demo in this area. So we try to integrate uh, Arto University, MIT, uh, uh, and Tongji, Tsinghua, and a lot of, because we, we truly hope like the uh, university now is leading the, the change, leading the change. Um, not only in the zoning, but also uh, we are in the layer, layer. We have nature layer. We respect the nature. We have very uh, a small touch on the nature. But then we have a culture layer. And then on top of that was uh, a future layer. Future layer means data, big data on the cloud. And then uh, uh, under the cloud, it was a lot of like uh, small com components, smart components, which uh, touch with the people. And then uh, people really uh, try to use those kinds of uh, smart devices, uh, whatever, from share a uh, bike, like a mobile, uh, or like a share uh, toilet, <laughs> or like a share shop, share like uh, 
many, many different types of small components. So we put them into the cities, and then, uh, uh, like a living lab, people are really curious about that, and they use it, and it's free. But then, uh, then but actually, uh, this uh, uh, is uh, uh, make uh, some innovation happen and get data about feedback. So that is, we can totally change original past model into sh uh, step model. We know like uh, uh, China government is uh, very powerful. It used to be you know, three, 20 years late, uh, earlier. You know, they are, they are they're doing everything by themselves. But now they feel very tired. You know, uh, the, the, the stock market, uh, you know, there's a lot of problems on the price system. So now we build up this platform for technology platform, invite social uh, innovation, normal people join us. Different uh, people coming with constructors, uh, 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 like uh, technology people, designers, they're coming together, working on one platform. So that's very important. So data and uh, also, so we even try to create a computer, like a game for young men, so that people, uh, the young men can uh, play uh, to testing different uh, uh, components when they, uh, on a real city environment, uh, what's the feedback, are they, uh, and the big data will calculate the score for them, so that if they put the right things in the right place, they, they be, they be a uh, uh, score to, to earn a lot of. T so and also we build up this social network to encourage those kinds of people to communicate on on this uh, uh, platform. We know young men waste a lot of time on computer games, then they they click click and then nothing happen, you know. But now they can really make change happen. So I hope like uh, this uh, is a way to uh, uh, to make uh, social people really enjoying. Uh, our urban planning. Uh, not only try to break down the city into small components, uh, the uh, building is also, we try to um, break down this, uh, the building, uh, something is uh, 50 years older, a uh, uh, long uh, uh, life cycle, some is not. So these are those kinds of uh, components which uh, including water and uh, energy, then uh, we go business model and we go out looking. So these components leading uh, container size, but uh, leading all the activities and then if if they train the, the people doing the activities, they move to another place, something like that. So uh, these are the uh, material level. Uh, those components can be super light, super smart. It's n totally not like original uh, brick buildings. And uh, we are even using uh, 3D printing technology to make these kinds of components uh, uh, work in, uh, much uh, more efficiency, much more fashion. So uh, uh, we are creating a new generation of building. Uh, this is Le Corbusier's, uh, we know that this box. And uh, they are creating space, but now we are focused on the skin. Focus on the skin. One is the skin is touching the nature, gathering energy, water, and then the inside skin was uh, digital, uh, integrate with uh, people. So we have a lot of uh, prototype nowadays in Tongji. And uh, uh, even when we still doing the prototype, the, the, the contract is coming to us. So we, I want 100, I want 50, <laughs> something like that. But the robot uh, is our aim. We are going to do a robot uh, printing that they will go in the bubble and then uh, sense the, the form because uh, no one can design a bubble that's exactly uh, like it be built because when you have more air inside, the, the form change. So that is why we have to scan it first, and then we print automatically later, you know. So that's the way how we uh, try to create a new type of 3D printing, not like uh, uh, nowadays you see a lot of printing components and bring on the site to, to, to assemble them. But this is uh, a, a, a very simple, like a bubble, and print on a bubble. So we are testing this. Thank you. <laughs>